Hello and welcome to the people's third stimulus check and stimulus package update as of March 8th, 2021. Well, today the House will vote to um, basically consider the Senate's version of the relief bill, leading to a yes or no vote, which will take us to the last step of getting the bill on Biden's desk. Majority Leader Jenny Hoyer previously indicated that the final vote on the House would be held tomorrow. But Jake Sherman said the final vote will be pushed back until Wednesday. And his reason was is because there's a lot of crap going on right now. Because there's a few progressives that might not actually follow through with uh, being on board with the thing or not. But we'll find out. The House already passed a, a similar version of the bill. So the most plausible uh, roadblock would be the progressives. Claim their support for the Senate bill based on the changes the Senate made, including the loss of the 59 hour minimum wage, the cut to the weekly unemployment benefits, and the more targeted stimulus payments. And what do they expect? I mean, this they, they got to try to make it bipartisan with Republicans, and that's what the Republicans want is more targeted. And the Congressional Progressive uh, Caucus received a, sorry, released a statement saying, Importantly, despite the fact that we believe any weakening of the House provisions were bad policy and bad politics, the reality is that the final amendments were relatively minor concessions. They said that the American Rescue Plan has retained its core bold progressive elements originally proposed by President Joe Biden and passed in the House earlier before it went to the Senate. Obviously progressives were disappointed in the things that were changed at the last minute. They'd rather support a bill that it was how it was originally written up and passed by the House before the Senate changed it. And this statement went on to say, we are extremely disappointed that the minimum wage bill was not included in the um the stimulus package. The minimum wage remains essential policy, and we must deliver on this issue. We call on the president to lay down his plan in the upcoming days before providing a desperately needed raise for 32 million Americans. That would be nice. I can use the raise. That would be very nice. So the minimum wage issue isn't going away anytime soon. This is still something progressives want to lobby Biden over. But after the Senate voted down Bernie Sanders' amendment, 42 to 58, it's pretty clear that a $50 hour minimum wage is in is not in their goals to reach for a such narrow majority in the Senate. Basically, so if they so Bernie Sanders only got 42 votes on that one, so it didn't really do that good. And on the other news, I mean. As everything looks so far, yes, you probably will be getting a $1,400 stimulus check. And on that topic, I figure if you're getting unemployment, you're getting your monthly, uh, you're getting a monthly stimulus check as anyways. So you shouldn't get $1,400 anyways because you're already getting a stimulus check. But no one else is getting that. If you're getting that boost, but that's just my opinion. And like I said, there's still ten senators out there that are actually lobbying with um, President Biden to make it so the stimulus checks are a recurring thing. For how many months, I do not know yet, but it probably will not get passed by because the Senate only has three reconciliation acts to actually use per year, and they've already used one this year, and that was to pass the um, current stimulus package. But um, So they only have two left, and they're probably going to save those to do for something that Biden wants to do at once. Hopefully he'll be smart enough and actually say, yeah, let's do the whole recurring uh, stimulous check thing because that would be actually really, really nice because I'm sure a lot of people can use it. But on other news, that's about covers it for me. So until next time, you guys have a wonderful evening. And I'll broadcast again to you tomorrow. Bye. My mother told me someday I would buy gummies with good oars and sails to distant shores. Stand up high in the proud.